Hi there. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create your own Smart Lab Activity and Notebook. Make sure that you have Notebook 16.1 or up installed on your teacher laptop. Email your technology department if you need that installed. You can find the Smart Lab Activity icon in the top toolbar. It looks like a little Space Invader alien. And if you click on it, it will display a list of Smart Lab activities. Now these are interactive. You can do these as a whole group and you can actually send them, send them to student devices to be played on their iPad or laptop, what have you. So there are a number of them. One is called Super Sort, another is Shout It Out, Rank Order. Um, these are different types of activities. So for instance, this the Super Sort obviously is a sorting one. This Rank Order one is a ranking something from, for instance, from smallest to largest, and so forth. There's a number of activities if you go through them. And in each type of activity, there are actually different themes if you click on them. And you can preview that theme by clicking on Preview This Activity, and it'll, it will show you a little animation about how that activity works. So depending on what you're teaching that day, uh, what the lesson is, you can customize your activity. So let's pretend to add the super sort one. I'm going to click Add This Activity. Here you can adjust your theme if you want. I'm going to stick with the alien theme. Click Next. And in this area, you will add your content. So for instance, maybe I am um, sorting odd numbers as one category, and then I want my right spaceship to be even numbers. And then it looks like I put my choices in these two columns. So for this one, my odd numbers are going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. And then this one is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. When I'm finished, I can click Next. And in this section, you can actually add optional uh, things to your, to your activity. For instance, you can add a timer to see how long it would take to complete activity. You could include dice to pick a number. Uh, you can include a hat pick, which you can use to pick students or items at random. Uh, you can choose a buzzer. This is really great for game shows and competition type games. And then also a spinning wheel, which you can randomly select students or items in your activity. So I'm going to click, fin I'm going to leave some of these out. So I'm going to click finish. And then after you click finish, you'll see your activity listed on the board. Like I said, you can do this um, as a whole group, as a whole class, and they can take turns. And you, all you need to do is, just, for this activity, is drag and drop. 10 goes in evens, 1 goes in odd, and so forth. This is what it looks like when you make a wrong answer. Oh, sorry, wrong answer. There you go, it just rejects it. Now I did mention that you can also play this on, you can send this out to individual student devices. And the way you need to do that first is, uh, first you need to sign in as a teacher to connect to your students. And I would just suggest signing in with your teacher Google, work Google account. You will sign in like so. And I might want to, I just want to add that this is a one-time thing only. You don't have to sign in every single time, just usually just one time, and then that's it. Uh, go Schools. Password. Okay. Great, I'm signed in. And then by signing in, actually, you have an activity code that you'll give to your students. And this activity code will be consistent for, for any activity that you create. Um, in Smart Lab in the notebook program. So your students would go to this website, classlab.com. They would enter this activity code in to sign in. They would add their name, and then they can do the activity on their iPad. Let me show you, give you an example. I'm going to go on my student iPad that I have here and show you what it looks like on the student end. So I'm, before I do that, I forgot to mention, um, as a teacher, you'll want to click this button that says Start for Students so that they, it activates the activity. And now, if you, just, you can toggle this on and off. Your students will have to go to classlab.com and put this 
activity code in. Let's see, I'm going to airplay out my iPad that I have here next to me to show you how to, what it looks like on the student end. So as a student, I will enter in this activity code that I just started. And this 56550709, that my code, like I said, will be consistent for any activity that I create under my teacher account. All right, then the student can put in their name and join the activity. And then they can do the activity on their own on their iPad like so. So great. So when the students are finished with their activity, as a teacher, you can click the end button here on your teacher computer. And that should stop the activity. And that's it. That's how you create a Smart Lab activity in Notebook 16.1.